The term mental equivalence, coined by Emmett Fox, explains the practical application of the law of substitution. Simply put, we must take responsibility for the thoughts we dwell upon, understanding that whatever we entertain in our mind's eye will be outpictured in our lives. Now, this teaching is at the core of one of this generation's rendering of this truth, the secret. We place the order for what appears in our lives by our habitual thinking. When we focus on lack, failure, unhappiness, and ill health, we attract these things to us just as surely as a moth is drawn to a flame, affirming the truth of the law of attraction. Now, does this mean we should simply adopt a Pollyanna attitude and just ignore conditions, essentially fiddling while Rome burns, affirming this and that, wistfully hoping for the best? And of course not. The mental equivalent involves focusing on what we desire in life, overriding the negative and destructive thoughts that lurk to hold us back, not ignoring conditions, but operating at increased levels of consciousness. Now, living on the spiritual basis, we practice the presence of God in all of our activities, training ourselves to see His presence in everything and everyone, rejecting the negative, for we now hold the ultimate truth of existence in our heart. That we are eternal beings, this flesh a mere conveyance, and the conditions and challenges we face today merely opportunities to demonstrate our true nature as children of the miraculous. Through prayer and meditation, we embrace a new basis of living, the basis of trusting and relying on God. In so doing, our vision clears, our consciousness raised, so we meet the inevitable challenges of living and life with a sense of serenity that only comes from having turned our will and our lives over to the care of a power greater than ourselves. Focusing on and attracting what we desire in our lives by substituting negative thoughts and thinking with positive, God-centric focus and action. The secret realized. My name is Vincent Lee Jones. You can find my videos on Facebook at Miracles in Recovery, on YouTube and Facebook as well at Vincent Lee Jones, and my writings on Blogger, titled the page Living in Spirit. Have a blessed day.